Hey guys, welcome back to Crab Central Station. Today I'm super excited to share with you an update on the Chewy.com decor that we unboxed with you guys last August. Let's get started. Okay, so crazy enough, I have to go tear down my school tank once again, not because of ants this time, but because we are moving to a brand new middle school this next school year, which I'm super excited about, but that means I have to take down my tank. So what better opportunity than now to share an update with you guys on how the decor lasted throughout the school year, whether it held up or not. So I'm going to show you the different items that we had in the tank and let you know how the crabs used them. Um, I'm going to rate them on a scale of one to five. Five being, woohoo, these are awesome, you need to have them. And one being, maybe this isn't the best thing for hermit crabs. So here we go. I'm gonna start out with these coconut huts. So we bought two of these, and guys, I love these. It's the best, love it. You cannot go wrong with these coconut huts. We have them in all of our tanks, and the crabs are on them or in them every single day in every single tank. So I give this a five out of five for sure. You should have some coconut huts, they're awesome. We also bought two of these ladder bridges, however you want to use them. And I love the little loops that come on the end of these because um, it lets you be really creative on how you use them in your tank and it helps you secure them in a lot of different ways. And so um, we use these in all of our tanks. The crabs actually pick at the wood here, which is good for them. And um, it stands up, we had no issues. So these are a five out of five as well. I would absolutely suggest and recommend these for your tank. All right, cork round. This is such a cool piece. Um, I really liked it when I unboxed it with you last summer and it looked great in the tank. This little hole right here, I put an artificial flower to bring some color to the tank. And the crabs loved it. Um, they spent a lot of time in this cork round. And you can even see the inside. We'll show you a picture. I'll get a video of this in a minute. You can see where they kind of picked at the wood throughout the year. It withstood the humidity. And cork round is just a great um, item in your tank. Five out of five for sure. You know, if this looks big to you and it won't fit in your tank, they make them in a lot of different sizes. So I believe I ordered the large. You could order a small maybe if you have a smaller tank. It would still be totally worth it. Okay, I was so excited about this item when I unboxed it with you guys. That's gonna be so fun! <laughs> And I'm just as excited about it today. The Jungle Gym. Remember this? Okay, so unfortunately, the crabs didn't use it as much as I had hoped that they would. <laughs> However, it definitely withstood the humidity of the tank. We did not have any problems with molding or mildew or algae or anything like that looks just as good as it did the day I unboxed it with you guys. I love the color of it. I think it brings some fun things to the tank and I saw some crabs on it at times, so I'll absolutely use it again. I would give that maybe a four out of five since the crabs didn't use it as much. All right, our lizard lounger. You can see here, this goes on the tank here. There's a little bit of a shelf. So, this is awesome. The crabs used this quite often. It withstood the humidity. We didn't have any problems with the um, mold or mildew or algae either. Um, the crabs really enjoyed it. I would put this little bridge right, I'm sorry, not bridge, ladder. I put the ladder like this. That's how they would get up to this little shelf. And they'd hang out there. Um, they would climb. Sometimes they get behind. So the only downside to this, which I don't know that it's a huge downside, but these little suction cups would sometimes come loose and so I would get to school in the morning and my lizard lounger would be like lopsided in the tank. But to be honest with you, it's a really easy quick fix. You just get a paper towel and wipe the glass of your tank and then re-suction this and you're good to go for another several weeks, even a month. So it didn't happen really that often um, and so it's definitely worth it. 
uh, my crabs used it and it offers like a whole nother level in your tank. So I would give this a four out of five, maybe because of the suction cups. And um, yeah, I would definitely, I'm gonna use it again. And I would suggest you get, get it if you like that look. All right, so bend a branch. Guys, remember this, we can get into it. You know, when I unboxed this with you, I had some concerns. It's kind of foamy filling, and so it makes me a little concerned that they might pinch at it, but um, I'll, I'll give you an update after I put this in the tank and kind of watch how it um, works and if it lasts a long time. Uh, my concerns were warranted. The, the crabs did pinch at this and all the way through to the foam in a couple of places. So I ended up taking this out of my tank a little while ago when I, when I started to notice that. And, um, you know, it's really unfortunate because they used it so much. The length is perfect. The, fle <laughs> the flexibility of it to, to bend it and move it where you want in your tank is so awesome. They make some other kinds of these that are a different material. And I think I'm going to try that next time just because the crabs really enjoyed climbing on it. So I'll let you know how that goes. Or of course, if we end up buying it, we'll unbox it with you guys. Okay, so we had three other items that we bought with Chewy.com. One was EcoEarth, and this is the EcoEarth right here that we buy, which everybody needs EcoEarth, and it was great and fine, and we used it. The other two were different kinds of wood climbs. We got this big, long, what is this? Forest branch. Right. Then I got this piece right here, which is grape wood. Actually, they called a hide. And I ended up taking both of those climbs out of the tank pretty early on in the school year. I would say maybe by October. They were already growing mold and mildew. And I brought them home actually and scrubbed them, soaked them in prime treated salt water, baked them on low until they dried. And then I put them back in the tank, but they quickly grew mold and mildew again. And so I just pulled them out of the tank and left them out. Um, so they just didn't really last in the high humidity. I don't think there's anything wrong with the product and I'm sure they would be great for some other pets, just not hermit crabs. All right, you guys, I hope that was helpful and I would 100% suggest that you go to Chewy.com if you've never been there. They have a lot of really great things and we will continue to buy tank decor from Chewy.com as well. And of course, we'll unbox it with you when we do that. If you haven't already, subscribe, like, share, comment, join us on our social medias, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.